Hey guys, this is how I built my own personalized guitar. Go ahead, check it out. Take a look. Guitar gods, my body has came. Yeah. And I'm painting the guitar. Even cuffs, thin and thick. Yeah. Happy little brush strokes. Alrighty, I'm mixing the gold paint right now. We just taped off the stripe lines right here. Make sure to measure everything so don't get crazy about me measuring things, all right? We did it, all right? We did it. It's gonna look good. I'll show you it after, all right? So this is a, a base wood body and this is a maple wood neck with a reverse headstock, a retro one. So it looks really cool and it's pretty different. So I decided to do a really royal blue uh, main color, like a really deep blue, just a pure blue for it because I thought it would look like really great. It would stand out, you know, it's not something like really dim that nobody would notice. It's kind of a shiner, right? And then I wanted to do the gold stripes as kind of like, a, I don't know, I just think stripes are cool on guitars, honestly. They're pretty cool. And I was looking at like some Eddie Van Halen guitars and they had some stripes and all that and uh, I was really fond of them. So this is why I chose them. Plus, it looks pretty good, eh? I went to Bob Aquaviva's uh, scrapyard um, in his house. He's got a bunch of parts and we went through it and I personally picked out everything like cream like the the weathered uh, look of the the switch right there and um, all this style and then I picked out knobs and all that and we had to order some online so that was pretty cool but I decided to go for like a, a white black white with like my pickups and my knobs I thought that was a skunk hole down the stairs white black white black <laughs> <laughs> So this bridge is off uh, an old uh, Stratocaster. It's uh, kind of an oldie but a goodie, right? Bob hooked me up with this hot hand wound pickup and it sounds really great. The middle and the neck pickup were both out of a Jimi Hendrix uh, Stratocaster. So I decided to go with some uh, black uh, machine heads. It really stands out from the maple. We applied some uh, Stratocaster stickers along the neck and then we uh, put a fender sticker right at the um, top of it. So my dad surprised me with a uh, German coat of arms, a sticker on the back, so that's pretty radical. It goes good with the gold color on the front. And uh, we got a plate back here, and this is just all the behind the scenes of the whole operation. You know, everything's pretty personalized, and thank to Bob. Appreciate it. Here's the guitar! Let me handle this piece like it's an alligator. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, holy Jesus, that looks awesome. Wow. Right? That is a monster. That's amazing. That's awesome. What do you think, dude? That is awesome. Is that crazy? That looks great. Dude, that's awesome. I love the stickers on the top and the black. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Sweet, dude. Oh my God. This is amazing. <laughs> I like like the domino effect. The two uh, guys who were really instrumental in making this guitar my dream guitar are my dad up there and um, of course, Bob Aquaviva. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Yo, Bob, thank you, my man! This guitar sounds awesome! Whoa!